What up, it's your boy Darth Ray at it again with another video, and today we are here with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 45. Last episode we had, um, actually, you know what, last episode we ended on my man, well, I was about to say Ling, but my man Greed running up to um, Commander, Commander King Bradley's house and basically telling him to line that shit up. Uh, so they about to run this round two. I'm interested in in seeing how this will go because king bradley dirted greed once i wonder how it's gonna work for him the second time around um hopefully he doesn't get dirted again so we'll see what happens we're gonna hop straight into it if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more full metal alchemist brotherhood or something totally different the best place to send that in it's always my social media links gonna be in the description below and if you want these episodes early you can subscribe to my patreon links gonna be in the description below for that as well so with all that being said uh let's get our headphones make sure that they're on them bitches is on and let's just uh get into it you and Celine, stay back. Well, also you can explain this rat. i don't the think i don't think his his wife doesn't exactly oh, know and why are you there? oh shit oh shit okay maybe he nastier now Whoa, 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 god damn. God. He's getting better. Oh, still got hit though. Nice! Oh my god! Is he dirty? No way. Oh my god, this fight. This fight? What the fuck is. Not like this! Oh my god, good shit. Surprised, he came close to overpowering me. Yeah, he got better. But uh, yeah, Pride would have put a stop to that. So, Ooh, Alex, perfect timing. <laughs> oh. Sneaks his voice. Love it. Huh? The victor shall earn my title as head of the family. Huh? Finest acceptable delivery. Oh God, no! I'd have it no other way. No! So I would not want to find Olivier. Say. Me no oh, I'm sexy now. Let's go. Understand, sister. I intend to use every help you are about to get destroyed, Armstrong, but I respect it. Don't patronize me, Alex. Your oh. bloated muscles are worthless without a spine. Oh, fuck. Shall we prepare for our rest? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They about to tear this whole house down. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god yeah bro no help my dog oh no oh my god yeah olivier is a fucking beast uh may 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 or am i racist First of all, y'all not about to do this. Oh, okay. I thought y'all wanted, um, y'all wanted trouble. Let's help her out. Hand over any extra oh. Food. That's, pay, that's that. nice. Why don't you leave tomorrow? Stay there oh. and get some good rest. You're more than welcome I thought y'all was about to be problems. Make you some dinner. What about you, Steve? You've got some empty rooms now. Why don't oh. you put her up? Yeah, sure thing. She'd be nice Steve! It's so good though. Envy's if Envy is hearing this, she's hearing she's hearing a different side of humanity that she didn't exactly think existed. Oh, you bitch! Oh, oh, I was ready to redeem you. I should say. Oh, take take her back to Mustang. Take him back to Mustang. Take her back to Mustang. Big greed. Oh damn. Hungry. 
Ling! How the fuck? Did he give it up? Did he give the body up? What the fuck just happened? Greed had a falling out with the other homunculi. Okay. So took advantage of his confusion. Oh. Managed to regain control of my body. Good shit, but can Greed do it? to get out of Central and needed some place close by to hide. Can so Greed I... do the same? What's the matter? It's Greed. Yeah. He's starting to fight back. Right. About this. But I think you and Al should jump in when he does. It's the best chance you have to get your bodies back. Wait a minute. That makes jump sense in? Everything, but there's a toll that must be paid to even open the portal. Think about how Think about it. Why is he opening the portal? That's been the question for... That's been my question for so long. It's happening. Who knows yeah. what they do to me if I go crawling back. Yeah, no way you can go back. Work well with others, so it's probably for the best. And that's that. Nice. Greed is rogue, as re as us? greed usually is. Ooh, it would go. be nice to have a homunculus. <laughs> Team up with you. Then again, I wonder. You. <laughs> for the laugh. I wonder if he's afraid yours, to this lose people again. Now it's a different story if you want to follow me. You're welcome to join my kind of feel bad for you, dude. <laughs> I'll follow you. Oh. I thought about it and I've decided to join your team after all. Fair. And since these guys seem to follow me everywhere, you've got two chimeras on your team as well. <laughs> nice. Oh my fight god. Back, fight, back, fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. That's, that's a good team, though. I've been a follower ever since I became a dog of the military. True. I don't want to hear any regrets. Give me a break. <laughs> I've already got a million regrets. What's one more? A million and one. Good, then it's settled. Fair. <laughs> you guys are working for me, too. Doesn't seem like we have much choice. Oh, no. Please act like it's not her. Hello, Curtis Butcher Shop. Please. Oh, yes, it's almost ready. Okay. Five is five. I thought it would be her. We'll be back. Well, maybe you could buy something next time. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Nice. He's pretty desperate to find you. Good shit. Yeah. I've got a message for you from Alphonse and some man named Hohenheim. Mm. How many of them are there? Just one. Just one? Are you sure? The uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, are you still there? Point B. Who's what? attacking? Oh. <gasps> Attack on the mountain patrol by a mysterious <laughs> yeah. It's just the same as those attacks 20 years ago. A housewife. <laughs> Let's go. The world's best housewife. That's who you are. I'm no one special. Just a housewife passing through. But mm. I do have a message for you from Alphonse. Nice way to pass along Let a message. Me talk in private. Yes, sir. It's a message from Alphonse Elric. Oh it's about God. that day, the promised day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Reckoning. Hello there, Rebecca. Your aim is looking fine, but not nearly as fine as you're doing. What do you think you're doing, General Grumman? That's fucked up. <laughs> You've got to keep your guard up on the My man here. gripped a whole your handful of ass. Like, That's what's up. <laughs> My man said, damn, you're shooting but good, but shit. <laughs> That's funny. Don't doubt me, Riza. I'm gonna find a nice guy and quit this lousy job. If you say so. Tell him that your ass is fat. Make sure to tell Lieutenant Havoc I said hello. You got it. See ya. Mm, you trying to you trying to you trying to do something with the Havoc? What's good with you? Yeah. One per day though. Oh, thanks, Lieutenant. And I was just about to run out. Now read the message that's inside, buddy. Thank you. Read the message. Rebecca wanted me to say hello for her. Mm, what you trying to do, Heavy? What you trying to do? Okay. Oh, and tell the colonel I said hi. Okie doke. You heard the lady. She says hi. Was it really necessary that you hide? Mm, read the message inside. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We are getting there. Be prepared for the coming spring. Okay. When the promised day arrives. Nice. The north and east will make their move. Oh. 
okay. <laughs> oh shit, it's like the <laughs> that's nice. Nice. Oh. Ooh, that was cold. God damn. Oh. So it's it's real for real because you didn't have to do all that. But I guess it's real for real. Oh, okay. Great episode, man. Great episode. Of course, we you know we're we're setting up for the big with a big finale right now <clears throat> but we did learn some 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 pretty good stuff here uh first of all very 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 fun to see people kind of like uh making their moves in their own little way um with olivier and you know the armstrongs in, in general you have olivier being like oh you know i should be the head of the house right and of course she truly believes that but also in in a it's more of a way for them to get uh, her family, Armstrong and, and, you know, the Armstrong family outside of Amestria because shit is about to pop off like really, <clears throat> like really bad, right? Whatever this, uh, whatever this circle is going to do, it's going to take a lot of lives, obviously, because you need a lot of souls to... Um, to power whatever the fuck this portal is about to is about to do right um so it would make sense to get the family out, out of get the family out, out of the country um get them somewhere safe uh which is anywhere but amestria and um it you know th this whole like fight was a great way to show that not only that but like olivia showing olivier and how strong she is because we don't really get to see her fight too much but you know seeing olivier and, and like her just manhandling um armstrong is 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 great it was absolutely great um we also and we got a lot of fights in the in this episode actually when you look when you think about it uh also with uh greed and seeing him finally fight i'm glad that we are I'm glad that we're getting more information on greed. Well, not information, but we're getting more characterization on greed. Uh, with him, like being a little bit more uh, retro retrospective, uh, self reflect, self reflective with himself. Which I always say in this show, like when e people characters become a lot more interesting in this show, uh, specifically when they start to be a little bit more self reflective. Greed is no different. So seeing Greed being angry at, at Bradley and questioning, why do I feel this way, Bradley? What the fuck's going on? Why am I angry at you, Bradley? You know, <clears throat> it shows you how um, how humanized, how or how much Greed is being humanized right now, even though he's a homunculus. Um, and a homunculus being some people that seem to want to transcend um humanity uh but seeing greed uh kind of be more humanized i now feel a little bit more you <clears throat> notice or uh, this what i was gonna say is that i feel a little bit more better for greed's safety um and if you notice there was a specific time in the show where i was talking about or Bradley was talking about how he wanted to, he wanted to, uh, trans, like, I, it's not his words verbatim, but he wanted to transcend humanity, he, he want, his humanity, he wanted to be more than him, he wanted to be stronger than a human, um, and, and if you remember that specific episode, I thought that was the dumbest thing, it, that was the dumbest thing that anybody has ever said in this show yet, I was, I was, to the point that I don't remember that specific reaction and how I reacted to him hearing that, but I remember is saying that that was the dumbest thing that I ever heard in the show, and, and like to the point that I wanted to laugh out loud hearing that. the The reason why it was so funny is because you know I I won't have this dis this whole discussion again because it's gonna make the video too long. But the reason why I was laughing at um, Bradley in that situation is because, as I said in that discussion. 
being human gives you limitless range that gives you limitless potential when you when you dehumanize yourself you are capping yourself there is you you automatically make yourself weaker by um by getting rid of your own humanity um <clears throat> and it's because in it's because humans continuously uh continuously get stronger right H humans are are <clears throat> I don't want to keep bringing like past episodes up but in the recap episode that wasn't a recap episode that was a recap episode but was the best recap episode that I ever seen we pretty much were ta we were taught the lesson that the reason why humans are so strong is because they are human because they get they get their ass beat and then they get back up and even if they die the race the the species continues to get stronger because they are human so it's it's a tell as old as old as time that humans get stronger because they are human and they continue to get stronger as a species and in some as individuals because they are human a human's tenacity is what makes them so strong the humans you know as cliche as it is their fighting spirit the the fighting spirit that humans possess is what makes them so strong and it, it it's a bunch of different facets uh uh about humans that m make them strong um, and that the recap episode that wasn't a recap episode that was a recap episode, but was the best recap episode that I've ever seen. Um, that was the theme of that episode. Um, so if we're getting back to like the whole full metal alchemist playing out like an equation, um, if we get to this part, we get to the part where, um, Bradley's like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to surpass my, my humanity to get stronger. That doesn't make sense within the equation. That makes no sense within the, in the equation. So for Bradley to be somebody that is dehumanizing himself and then have somebody like, um, greed who is very much becoming more human. It, while I don't think, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't how they wanted to write this. And when it comes to art, you know, it's very subjective. You take you take out you take what you can out of it. But for me, seeing this fight meant a lot more than just this being just a cool fight. Like this this was a really good fight and you know, it, it was very it was very cool, you know, it, it had some fluidity to it and and it, it was just fun to watch. But something to something to uh think about is that bradley even bradley himself said i almost got overpowered in the last fight with greed he got dirt 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 dirted like greed stood no chance he tried he damn well tried, but greed stood no chance. Thinking greed thinking as a homunculus stood no chance. But now that we're getting some now that they're we're humanizing greed, greed's actually doing some self-reflection and now accepting not maybe not accepting, but he's starting to think more about um the things that would pretty much make him human, <clears throat> which is why I say he's being humanized, that's when greed starts winning. If, if you, if you really don't, not even, you don't even have to really think about it, but if you look at it in that way, you can see that obviously Bradley was wrong. It, you can't become stronger by, by becoming a, by becoming a, a homunculus. You become strong by becoming a homunculus, but that doesn't mean that you're stronger than humanity itself. And this fight put it on full display now granted it was a two-on-one at the end of the day so even if greed were to have overpowered bradley <clears throat> he greed would have died because pride is also there and pride is 
probably the strong i think he is like i think even hohenheim said pride is the strongest out of all of the homunculi uh so <clears throat> there was there's like obviously he grieve was gonna die even if he overpowered overpowered bradley and even if he killed bradley grieve was also gonna die but that's not the point of the fight the point of the fight is that that this seeing greed finally be human is what almost got greed the win therefore whatever the fuh -fuh fuck bradley think he's doing and whatever the fuh -fuh fuck any other of the homunculi think they are doing including father including father they stand no chance to humanity they can't they can't surpass that they can't surpass that and 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 i understand like father's father's plan is probably to like be become a god himself to wield the power of a god because he wants to he wants to come out of his own flask um but if we are to get a little biblical if we are to get a little biblical on on, on here on the channel for a little bit you know I'm, I'm not a man of, of of faith but if we are to get a little biblical i believe that humanity was created in god's um in god's image i believe that that that's how that story goes and i have always been somebody that is not really a man of faith and have always like while me not being a man of faith has had me has had it to where i've been able to th i feel like i i can i can like kind of think a little bit more freely about about you know stories like that and i've always thought that humans were nerfed like humans were nerfed that's all I, that's what i've always thought they were created in the same image and they were nerfed because you couldn't have a bunch of them just if you create if God created us in, in in his image, you can't have a bunch of gods like roaming around. But he gave us the potential to reach that height. And at least in this in this um, world, you can you can kind of see that on full display. They, they they talk about it, you know, is that. At the end of the day. That father could could wield the power of, of a god all he wants to humanity has the the potential to overthrow that regardless of what you of what you do it may not be one guy but it will be the next and if it's not the next it will be the next after him and as long as humanity exists there will be the chance that you will get dirted god or not that's just how it works right um so this the the fight b between greed and um uh what's his name <laughs> greed and bradley um is very i i find it very important for not just for maybe not so much for the story but like for the themes that the story uh presents to us in the in the early stages of it um so I just really good like like I said it's probably not not what I'm supposed to extrapolate from from that fight but it, as it being art that's kind of what I got at least uh, let's see what else we had the fight that was great <clears throat> speaking of humanizing homunculi I fucking thought I for a second I'm a dumbass for thinking it but I for a second I was I was I was looking at envy i was like maybe maybe you're maybe you can learn a lesson here right <clears throat> and honestly in this situation i was just as bad as envy because these like these characters walked up to me and i was like do we have a problem like um, immediately i was like do we have a problem because i'm like i know how i know how people are so it's not far-fetched to think that a random group a random group of people are going to pull up on, on her and not start a problem you know that's not super far-fetched to think that they would right um and that was my immediate response to it. i was like okay well shit my you know we might have a problem here may might have to get real 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 vicious on them um but no i was wrong and envy i'm sure you know with her first you know thought on what was going to happen she was wrong too um they were very nice actually they were they were 
they were very kind all of them they were like yo we got we got a room for you over here you can't got some food for you you know we can't have you cross that de that desert all alone and you know they they were they were helping hands complete stark difference from what envy believes humanity to be stark difference not even not even the same um envy believes humanity to be corrupt petty and angry all the time selfish <clears throat> and here we got the complete opposite and you know envy's here in this i'm thinking okay envy's here in this she might have a change of heart uh about you know humans now granted envy is still envy so it it makes more sense for for envy to be like okay this, this is a good time for me to to swindle my way back into back into central which that's what she did but regardless of of her plan i i believe it's good that envy heard the kindness of because i don't i'm not sure how much kindness envy has heard from people envy has done a lot like when envy was empowered envy did a lot to create tension between humans to create that that selfishness and that negativity between humans so i don't think that she's ever heard people just being people um so regardless of her swindling her way to capital or central or whatever it's good that she heard that because now we have a, the, the tiniest inkling of of they're not all bad right at least with envy you have the tiniest bit of they're all, they're not all bad there are people that are good now granted like i said swindled her what swindled her way to, to central so now she has to actually go she's got made to go back and envy singing that she's about to get a a, a a stone and probably live it up back in her old form but i doubt it i, I doubt it i i very much doubt it um also we also have ling uh kind of got his body back for a little bit um and having the conversation of the day of reckoning which apparently it would be best if we jump into the portal which i'm guessing that's going to be a f the final battle is that one if we do jump into the portal here here here's the thing if we do jump into the portal um as hohenheim said the body of the body of that thing uh father is just a leather bag it's, it's a shell um so if we take away that shell we actually can fight the monster in it uh, meaning that if you do jump into the portal there is no more of that body there is just the um the the monster that we fight also we can get our bodies back right so killing two birds with one stone um so in, i guess that that's a setup for the final fight however i'm that's dangerous right but i mean we have no other we have no other option um i guess another thing that we should talk about when it comes to um greed is the offer to to you know team up um and him not exactly taking that offer uh you know it's on the outside it was because like oh i'm greed i i don't follow people you you gotta follow me but to me i think he was just sad i think he was scared because if he did and he and and he went out started a bond with these people even now with them following behind him if he started a bond with these people the same way that he did his last group and he lost them I don't think I don't think greed wants to go through that again especially since we're now humanizing him he doesn't want to feel that again um and I, I kind of sympathize with him like damn that sucks man like you lost your friends and now you don't want to lose your friends again 
or you don't want to make friends to lose now uh so it sucks but it's also another way that we're humanizing greed because now he's afraid to lose people um which is a very which, which is a very human trait um but now we got everybody together we have izumi who finally you know izumi finally passing along notes to so they can pass along a note to the next person next person and everybody pretty much knows the the it, the very important information of what's going to happen and how we're going to respond um, to the situation at hand, uh, which was pretty much what the the latter half of this episode was. Very glad that we're finally like putting all our we're putting our pieces in motion like finally. Um, for the past couple of episodes, we've kind of just been building up our pieces, finding the pieces, and you know setting them setting them where we need them to be but now we're finally putting them in motion getting them ready at the very least um excited for that excited i hope i mean like i don't you know probably not but i hope that um havoc you know we can fix havoc i kind of want him to be better but hey man he's uh, he seems kind of happy you know so I, I accept that but regardless it, it's looking like it's about to get pretty good um i'm excited for i'm excited for what comes next i'm, I'm very excited for what comes next uh because we're finally about to get some shit done for real this time so um great episode very very glad to get get my favorite housewife in in all of anime um back again for an episode um excited to see how how they all contribute to this final act um of this anime because we we are getting into the final act. i think if we aren't getting into the final act we are in the final act so excited for that uh great episode um and we'll just have to see what happens next so if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more um full metal alchemist brotherhood or some totally different the best place in that in it's always my social media links going to be in the description below and if you want these episodes early uh in the full length uh, reaction to these episodes you can subscribe to my patreon links going to be in the description below for that as well um so with all that um being said get my off button ready uh, there it is you all stay amazing stay safe and take care of yourselves